Somerset slump despite Imam Al Hack 90 on debut. Marcus Harris scored the knock of the day across the LV County Championship as Gloucestershire got off to a great start at the Cooper Associates County Ground in Taunton. But Somerset hauled them back late on though, the visitors finishing six down with 320 on the board. Poor weather delayed the start and it was Somerset who kept up their form from the evening of day one. Tom Price outcourt behind off Lewis Gregory for eight. Who had two in two? David Payne out for a first ball duck lifting a catch straight to Jack Brooks. Josh Davey then pounced in the very next over to see the back of Taylor. No mistake made with the catch fired back at him. Gregory soon wrapped it up. Ajit Singh Dale out LBW for four. Gloucestershire all out for 343. Considering their fine start with the bat, it was a disappointing return for the visitors. They'd slumped from 251 for two to 343 all out. The final eight wickets falling for just 92 runs. The 159 at the top of the order and 50s from Charlesworth and Ollie Price had done the heavy lifting. Lewis Gregory finishes the pick of the bowlers with four for 62. Somerset would find themselves under pressure early on though. Payne struck six balls into the innings. Lamanby caught behind for six. And his captain Tom Abel was soon following in his footsteps. Ajit Singdale sprinting off in celebration as the edge flew into the hands of Ollie Price at second slip. Somerset made their way to lunch without further damage. The score 34 for two. They were trailing Gloucestershire by 308. Somerset recovered well. The international quality of Imam Al Pak to the fore. Ably supported by George Bartlett. And soon enough, the score had doubled and the deficit had dipped below 300. With the score up to 74, Bartlett was removed, bowled by Price for 33. A timely reminder of the delicate position the hosts were in. Goldsworthy followed soon after, Somerset four down and still short of three figures. Under a bit of pressure, Somerset slowed and tried to steady the innings. The run rate hovering just a touch over one and over. Or Hack finally moved them to three figures after more than 33 overs in the middle. The Pakistan international then moved on to 50. Much better now for Somerset, a half ton on debut for the impressive opener. He took confidence from the knock and Somerset grew into the innings, pushing the score on to 135 for four when they headed in for tea. They were now just 208 behind. Poor weather prevented a timely resumption, but it wouldn't prevent Imam Ol Haq firing Somerset past 150. He was closing in on a ton when Price had him caught behind. The hosts now five down, the linchpin gone and the deficit 186. They were swiftly six down. Gregory out three balls later. Ollie Price with the catch off his brother's bowling. The wheels were coming off. Aldridge the seventh, out for four, bowled by Shaw. Davy and Rue shut up shop, looking to deny Gloucestershire any further opportunities. But their position was perilous and Davy couldn't stick around. Caught behind off Dale for eight. Sajid Khan proved to be the partner Rue had been looking for. The Pakistan international proved his worth as he stuck with the Somerset keeper and watched on as he took them past 200 and allayed fears of the follow-on. They would finish the day on 209 for eight, till 134 behind Gloucestershire. A lot rests on the shoulders of James Rue, the last recognised batter out there. He'll have to bat with the tail to try and inch Somerset closer to parity. But Gloucestershire can sniff their first victory of the season and they would be delighted if they picked it up on their rival's home turf. A couple of wickets could see them well on their way to that elusive first win.